Hey guys, Jeremy here at My Way MFG. Today's the first day of the Knox County Spoon River Scenic Drive. It's called the Scenic Drive because it's the fall of the year and the leaves are turning and stuff. Usually not so much on the first weekend, but by next weekend you'll see more of that. This is an event that takes two weeks, two weekends. But um, it's like a big flea market carnival type atmosphere. A lot of food vendors set up, uh, just vendors of all kinds. I mean, uh, old cars, uh, a lot of them sitting around for sale, just uh, antique furniture, crafts. You see license plates around here from all over the country. I suppose that um, hundreds of thousands of people attend this thing over the two week period. Anyway, me and Carolyn, our daughter Savannah, we're in the Ford Explorer this morning going out. We were going to take maybe a Lizer or the 59, but it's a little cold out today. It's going to be a little warmer tomorrow, and we'll probably do something again. But um, but another thing you got to watch, it's hard to drive in this. Most of these people that are driving around here are lost. They have no idea where in the hell they are. So they'll pull out in front of you and hit you. But anyway, let me turn the camera around here and show you. This is actually a spot on the state highway. That's how busy it is. This is this is just out in the country along a deserted highway right now. And it goes town to town. It it's it's uh it encompasses all the small towns in the area of Knox and Fulton County. And uh, right now I think we're on our way to Bernadotte. That is a town right on the Spoon River. They've got a dam down there, the Bernadotte Dam. And uh, I think that's the only dam on the Spoon River. But we're heading down there now to uh, see what they got. And um, I'll just show you a little bit of the traffic and stuff along the way. farmers started harvesting the fields last week. By next week, a lot of these will be empty. Right here at this intersection is where I bought the 59 Chevy truck. It's been probably 30 years ago now but it, it was setting right there along this corner and I actually bought it right before the scenic drive weekend because I thought that if I don't get it now I'd been seeing it I thought if I don't get it now somebody might buy it you know during this event and um, and uh, so I came down and bought it like the, the weekend before and uh, I've had that ever since I drove it home I drove it home it had a lot of problems, but it done just fine.
first stop. Not quite as busy here as I thought it would be. But it's kind of good. I'm gonna take a look around. But this is kind of cool. Model T popcorn and peanut truck. Daughter Savannah, her dog Sugar. Sugar don't know what to think of all these people. Take you over there and buy you a baby brother or baby sister. Oh God, that they're selling. Oh, they got all kinds of babies over there. Well, I don't need to go over there. Over there on that corner. Let's <laughs> go look. There's a guy over there. He's from the Back here behind me, puppies for sale. We do not need puppies. But there's the dam down here at Bernadotte. If you, um, back during World War II, they had a big World War II training camp down here called Camp Ellis. There's a really good video on YouTube. Google it. It's uh, Illinois Camp Ellis. And uh, that camp was like 100,000 acres or more. It would have been bigger than Peoria. They had like the biggest hospital in the state theaters, restaurants, everything. And it all just got torn down. This dam is really the only thing left of it. But uh, if you guys are interested now, watch the video, Camp Ellis. You'll find it on YouTube. It's quite a thing. And when you look at this now, and it's all just barren farmland and small towns, it's hard to believe that something like that could have ever existed here. Very interesting stuff. now that's one of the main stops there's going to be lots of people there not too much set up in Bernadotte but uh, we'll see what they got in London Mills and hey if uh, any of you people that design Ford cars new ones are watching this right now this complicated ass touchscreen heater control is every bit as dangerous as texting and driving it's the exact same thing just put one big knob here for front one big knob here for rear. We can figure it out from there. But uh, yeah, get rid of a, get rid of this thing. That sign says pony rides. You want to ride a pony, Beeb? No. Oh, come on. No. <laughs>
that is a traffic jam going on for miles. It is not moving. to get through that. town of McQuan looks like right now. We're heading back down to London Mills. That's where you saw us with that traffic jam. We probably drove four miles out of the way in the opposite direction to avoid that. And uh, now we're heading back down, but we're going to take the county road into the back side. We'll probably park the car, car about a half mile out of town and try to walk in. There'll be thousands down there. several hundred here. Savannah wanted to take her dog Sugar home before we get into London Mills and give us a little more freedom to walk around and get something to eat and stuff. It's going to be elbow to elbow people there. And uh, Sugar was getting pretty excited around all the people. I had thought when we when we took the dog home that I might would grab Eliza and uh, we would head back down on the back roads and try to get as close as we could and then just park, you know. Yeah, when I got out in the car, it only had an eighth of a tank of gas in it. I don't want to try to search out a gas station today. I feel like I'd be waiting in line for an hour to get gas. So I'll just fill the car up during the week sometime and maybe next weekend. But really, I'm just a little bit concerned about even getting enter the 59 out in this traffic because these people drive terrible during this. You run into a situation where most of these people are tourists. They don't know where they're at. So you got about half of them that want to drive 10, 20 miles per hour. And then the other half of them want to drive 60, 70 miles an hour. And um, it creates a big mess, dangerous mess. But um, anyway, we're going to head in towards the backside of London Mills and just see how close we can get to town and park and then walk in. Um, if you were trying to enter town and park in one of those paid parking areas, oh my gosh, you'd be waiting in line for hours. So uh, we're going to see what happens here. Yeah, guys, this was definitely the right way to get into London Mills. We've just drove a half a mile from town with no traffic whatsoever. We're on the county road and... Uh, we're just getting up here to where the cars are parked. It looks like we're probably gonna to have to walk maybe between a quarter and a half a mile. But um, yeah, that's not that hard to do. 
Should I try on the side here or on that side, Johnny? Uh, just wherever you got room. I think you could probably park right behind this silver one up here, couldn't okay. you? Where he's. I just don't want to block anybody or make it so we get hit. Combine going through the field there, guys, getting the crops out. It's okay to be out there combining, but you'd have a heck of a time getting into the elevator today. Right here? Yeah. Just don't pull over too far and get in the ditch. Am I over far enough? I would say so. I don't want to get hit. That's what I'm afraid of. You think we're yeah, over? You're over just as far as they are. All right. Now to walk, guys. Guys, if it starts raining, then it's a long walk. As long as it's not raining, we'll be fine. I'll get you back in here when we get into town. Walking across the Spoon River on our way into London Mills. I was looking at license plates on the way up. I saw Texas, North Carolina, Arkansas, Missouri, Florida, a lot of Illinois and Iowa. People from all over here. now getting into town. Guys, I'm starting to smell some really good food. I found a table. I'm kind of holding the seats here. Savannah and Carol's waiting on the food, taking some time, but man, it looks good, smells good. So I'm gonna eat, you know, guys, I like to eat. I love carnival food. One of the best things about coming to an event like this, you get to use porta potties. That's a rare treat that you don't get to do every day. Next morning, it's about 8.30. I think it's 42 degrees out right now. It's still a little chilly, but supposed to warm up a little bit more today than what it did yesterday when we were in Bernadotte and I was showing you guys that dam I was talking about Camp Ellis I said there was a good video on YouTube about that actually there's a couple of them and uh I re-watched them last night just because I hadn't seen them for a while when I said that was like a hundred thousand acres I was wrong on that it was more like I think 17,000 acres they said but um one of the things I found real impressive watching them videos was the size of that hospital. Um, they said that hospital had over 2,000 beds in it, and it was bigger than St. Francis Hospital in Peoria. Now, if you guys saw St. Francis Hospital in Peoria, that's a big hospital. That's very impressive to me. And they said that that hospital may have been the biggest one in the United States. And when you look at all that now, and it's just fields and farmland it is just hard to imagine there ever could have been anything like that there but uh yeah it just got all tore down and it's just gone it's crazy but anyway if you guys want to watch those videos there's a couple of them camp alice but um i think we're gonna wait for the sun to kind of come out today and warm up a little bit and find a way to end this video
back down London Mills today, parked on the, the blacktop heading on the back side of town where we were yesterday with the Explorer. We brought Eliza today. Just about the same amount of cars here today as there was yesterday. Carol walked up to, uh, she saw a purse down here she's been thinking about all night. So you know how that goes, guys. Had to run back down. On the way down here, a few drops on the windshield, drops of rain. That's not what you want to see when you don't have any glass on the doors, but uh, so far it's holding off. We're about 10 miles from home. Pretty sharp park down there is my son's car. I'm not 100% positive, but it sure looks like it. Probably not going to have too many more Eliza runs this year. It's going to be getting cold here in the next few weeks. I'm going to start getting a list together of things I want to get done to the car, and we're going to start back on that guys starting with the trunk floor for sure running boards still got to weld up that passenger side door i've just got a few tack welds on there it's been holding all year not dragging the running board but uh ain't much holding that door together we definitely gotta get that fixed and i'd like to get windows in the doors those are my main objectives i think front turn signals but anyway, I'm just standing here waiting for Carol to get back and then we'll head on home and pray it doesn't rain until we get there. Guys, we're on our way back home. You got your purse, right? Yep. All right. I think that's gonna do it for us today. It's a little cold for me. I'm a fair weather guy. And uh, yeah, next time we do this next year, we're gonna have windows. But please like, share, comment, subscribe. All those things. Jeremy, we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.